Hi, um, my name is Evan McCaber. Um, I am someone who has Asperger's and um, I've, I've just had uh, a meltdown and um, it's not nice. But what I want to do is I want to tell you guys what happens to me and my body and my mind when I have an, a, a, an outburst or a meltdown, whatever you want to call it. Now, <coughs> during the time I was... Um, I was having a conversation and I felt like I was being misunderstood um, and I got very angry and the first thing I noticed is rage it was like angry I was shaking so my hands were shaking and then um, and then I felt that I became very I became very um, uh, what's the um, I felt that I became very emotionally like it felt like if like if a child sneezed, I would respond to it, or like if my emotions, I was very I was very aware of people's emotions, and it kind of like bounced it bounced off it. I'm posting a video um, to make people aware of what happens to me and my body and my mind um, when I when I have an outburst or a meltdown, whatever you want to call it, um, <clears throat> and I felt that. Like if a child sneezed or if a child cried or there was any kind of emotion there, um, it would like heighten what happened. Um, so like if anything happened, um, it just heightened it. And uh, there was a bit of me that felt like everything that was happening was my fault. <clears throat> so that was the first thing I noticed, like my hands were, were shaking. And then afterwards... I um I noticed that because those emotions were happening I felt that it just it just doubled everything that was happening around me so like um the frustration and the emotions that I felt that I was I felt that the emotions around me was because of my fuck ups. Being being honest, um, it just made me feel even more uncomfortable. So I started to pace, but then I was asked not to pace. But it it was like kind of like a thing because like the people around me, they they felt dizzy when I was I they felt dizzy when I when I was pacing. So it kind of put me in a position where I needed to to blow off some steam. I. I when I was, I'm still coming down now, and like, it kind of feels like the whole process is kind of like going to, going for a toilet, kind of feels like I'm going to, uh, like, like, I, like, when you go to the toilet, you, you, if you leave it for too long, you'll just burst, and like, I felt like the longer I was in that situation, the more dangerous it became, so I needed to, um, I needed to, to, to release some of that. So what I started to do, why is there glint? Um, what I needed to do was pace up and down. When I couldn't pace up and down, I didn't I, I didn't want to like do anything. So I tried like doing press ups. Um, and I stopped after a while because it's not that I'm unfit. It's just that, I don't know. Um, so after a while, I decided to bury my head. <clears throat> and kick the floor. It's like kind of like um, you know, like kind of like football kicky upsy. And I need to be worried. About, I need to be concerned about the time because it takes fucking forever to upload these things. Excuse my language. Oh yeah, excuse my language. Um, this is just me speaking freely. If you have children, I apologise for that. Um, this will be going on my um, my Asper um, my Aspie Brigade video. Apologies for the language. Um, <coughs> So yeah, um, the more people's emotions around me um, became concerned about things, the more I kind of responded to that. And, um, you know, I, I was pacing and I was hugging myself. I was, I was trying to give myself a hug. And then um, someone around me felt like they were crying. And I just felt like I had to get out. I had to get out or else... I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I honestly couldn't tell you what I was going to do. 
and I needed to go out so I literally just put my shoes on and I ran out uh, where I am and um, I just <clears throat> I feel I felt that I needed to do something in order to release it you know again I have to describe it as like going to the toilet you know you're going for pee and um, you know if it's a long pee you kind of like you kind of lean over things and you kind of oh you know it's a release <coughs> so um, I started like doing these weird body things whilst I was walking up in the rain that's why I'm wearing these towels it's not like I'm religious or anything it's just that I'm generally code um, I started doing weird things with my body I started like flicking my arms around I started like like jump kicking the air and I went, um, so I went for a walk. I think I was away for about 20 minutes or so. <clears throat> and um, I decided to go uh, to the park gym. Um, I feel that like some kind of like physical release is best for me. Um, it's not to say that for all people with Asperger's, like a physical release is best. Like um, I heard a phrase and I'm going to like trans, 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 I'm going to put it into this category in the sense of like, if you've spoken to one person with Asperger's, you've spoken to one person with Asperger's. It's not the same for everyone. You know, it's like, <clears throat> you know, some people um, with codes and flus, they have different ways of having codes and flus. It's not to say that there is one way of having a code, so to speak, <clears throat> figuratively, figuratively speaking. Um, so I felt that like, see at home, um, I have like a, a punch bag and that helps. Uh, I have like a kettlebell and all that kind of good stuff. So I went to the park, um, I did some, um, cardio stuff for a bit and, um, uh, I did some more press ups cause I, my chest, I, I, I need to get, oh God. Yeah. My, I, Sometimes I'm like a cat and I need to be constantly loved, but like when you uh, when you become towards me, sometimes I'll just, yo, go away, leave me alone. Need back, fucker. Um, <clears throat> again, sorry. Um, so yeah, um, I did some press-ups, I did some cardio, I walked back in the rain and um, the door was locked here and I just, it was another thing that I felt which was shame. Um, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to ring the doorbell. I didn't want to ring the doorbell. So I thought, I'm going to, uh, sorry again, but I thought, fuck it. I'm just going to wait until my sister comes. And, um, you know, so I, I didn't want to talk to anyone. I still don't want to talk to anyone, which is why I'm doing this video. I, I might even put a bit up on my blog as well. My performing arts blog. Oh, by the way, I'm an actor. You should hire me. Um, <laughs> I, I, I chuckle at that because um, another thing that I'm noticing about myself is that if I'm going to be in a big group, I'd rather be on the outskirts of it. So, like, um, I remember at college, like, there'd be, like, a big circle of friends just talking, and I would be, like, outside the circle. I'd be, like, sat on a thing, and every once in a while, I'll kind of add something to the conversation but I don't like the idea of like being in a group like we had <clears throat> there was a meeting that happened here and you know this is a very small room I don't want to show you too much but this is a very small room I, I'd say it's about it's a very small room and uh, yeah so in in summary uh, what happens uh, what happened to me and my body during the outburst meltdown is I started to shake um, due to being misunderstood and angry I think it was a combination of the two um, my body was very agitated let's say that because I was um, I was pacing up and down um, and uh, if I couldn't pace up and down I had to just like hide myself um, I was emotionally heightened by emotions around me and um, 
I explode. Well, I didn't explode it. I've had worse explosions. Um, I don't know if I can be bothered to post a link, but I'll try post a link if I remember. But this is like <coughs> I've had some in the past, and they have been quite violent. And I've been arrested for it. Um, but um, yeah, I'm sick of the glare. Um, so yeah, um, I think I've been screaming. There's a certain things as well that happens, like, um, oh, I look like a head. That's kind of cool. I'm going to stick this. I'm going to keep this until my arms get tired. Um, I can't remember. There's another thing as well. Sometimes during the meltdowns, I forget. So normally... Like after after I'm coming down, I just don't want to talk to anyone, and I just want to cry, and I just want to be fucking emo. Sorry. Um, yeah, I forget things. <coughs> um, can I do anything about this? You know what? I can't be bothered. This just <sighs> bloody Nora. That would do. Um, so yeah, um, normally I'd look at the camera lens, but I don't even want to do that. I uh, I just generally just don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, shaking and emotionally, I don't know what to say. I just, to be honest with you, I want to use a quick minute to 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 piss and whine at, of the government um, to tell you guys why I felt like this in the first place. There are going to be some cursing, so you might want to um, turn the video off. Um, thank you for watching, <clears throat> if you're going away. But, um, yeah, I don't. F I feel that the problem isn't just this country in terms of mental illness, uh, mental illness and benefits. I mean, this, this is going to be a rant, so this may not make any sense, but... The reason why I, 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 I fucking exploded in the fucking first place was because I've been looking after family here and, um, you know, um, I, 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 I'm embarrassed and ashamed to say that I, I have to claim benefits. I don't want to claim benefits, you know, I want to be a performing artist, I want to... I want, no, what I want right now is the freedom to do what I want when I want. So I want the freedom to, to, to jump and say to people, oh, I do acting. And then in some other cases to say, oh, I run multiple business. I'm trying to be an entrepreneur. Or in other cases, I can say to people, oh, I, I do podcasts. And all that is true. I don't want to be tied down by one thing. I don't want the world to know me as one thing anymore. I want to be able to switch and choose and there's some and I think the benefit system in this country is so fucked up it just won't allow people to do that there was a point where I said that I wanted to and I said this I'll admit that I said it I wanted to do part-time work because a I'm scared of like this shit happening at work and b I just don't I don't want to be tied down by anything Um, <clears throat> I don't want to be tied down by anything and I don't want, I don't, I don't know, it's so fucked up. But the way that this country treats people with mental health issues and autism is just wrong. And I'm kind of glad that there's this shows like the, the A word and uh, the tunnel, although the tunnel was a bit more European, like, um, it's British produced, but, um, the character in it has Asperger's, um, the little lines getting on my nerves, I just feel that this could have been avoided if if benefits 
um, UK benefit people took more into consideration people's mental states. Um, I was asked why I don't apply, for, um, why I don't appeal for my ESA. It's because I'm fucking exhausted from doing it. I do it every single fucking year. Like, I'll be on it, and after a couple of months, they'll give me um, a health check, <clears throat> and I'll try and say, oh, because it's mental health reasons why I, I can't do things, and they'll still, um, and they'll still, they still, but they still won't give me ESA. It just makes me feel shit, and I wish it would change. Anyway, um, this is going to take fucking six hours to upload, so yeah, see you in six hours. <coughs> if you are Aspie, um, what are your what happens? Do you know what happens to you and your body and your mind? What happens when you have a meltdown? Um, post in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. And I also like this fucking glare to go away, and it won't because my arms are tired. Um, if you are a carer, or if you have a family member or um, a friend that has Asperger's, how do you treat? Them? How do you deal with them? How do you approach them when they have a meltdown or whatever? I'd like to hear from you guys. I'd like to stop feeling so alone and shit as well. <clears throat> I'm gonna go sort out my voice and I'm gonna put a shitload of cheese on something that I'm about to eat because I don't know if I've actually even eaten today. Um, that might be another thing that kind of helped this along. Although I have had meltdowns in the past and I have eaten. So, I don't know. Anyway, bye. Um, EvanMcCaber.com. EvanMcCaber.com for you. EvanMcCaber.com needs. Also, I need help with that website. There's not enough on there. Shut up, Evan!